everyone, this is Samantha from Scrapmasters Paradise and today is Tutorial Tuesday so I thought I would use one of our new sets coming out on February 10th. This is going to be a sneak peek of the new Sunshine Emma stamp set. And today I'm going to make just a nice pretty cloudy day one sheet card here using these two clouds from the Sunshine Emma stamp set and a cute little sentiment that came in this set. My, sorry, my block is really dirty right now. But you can still see it says sending smiles across the miles. I'm going to use that. But first I want to work on our little cloudy scene. Since this is Tutorial Tuesday. I'm going to be using um, Stampin' Up! Pool Party paper and their Pool Party ink. And I've noticed this ink pulls up on the clear stamps really bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp a couple of these just on my scrap paper. And I'm pressing my image into the stamp. And then I'm just going to stamp off a couple of these just so that I make sure that I kind of get any sort of film coating off my stamp and I get good coverage. And I'm just going to stamp some of these clouds and they don't have to be perfect but I want them all going the same direction. It looks like a little sunny scene and that gives you a nice tone on tone effect with the same color ink as your paper. I'm going to do the same thing with this small cloud, just rubbing it on my ink pad, stamping it off a couple of times. I, I notice that helps when some of the inks are a little bit blotchy. So I'm just going off the side of some of these so that it looks like more of a natural background. And you didn't plan it and you have just like a clump of clouds in the middle. You want to make sure you go off the edge sometimes. That just creates interest. Okay, so I think that's pretty good with the same ink. With the same ink, I'm going to ink up the edges just to give a little bit of dimension to this card since it's just going to be a one layer card. I've got my Tim Holtz ink applicator and I use the one with the felt things. Oh goodness, let's see how that looks. Okay, this one has um, some white ink left over. I had to get a new felt thing because it has white ink still left on it. I didn't want it to look all faded out. I've got my ink on there. I'm just going to swirl it around the edges. And some people don't like these felt ones. Some people like um, the foam ones for the dye inks, but I, I just bought the one pack. I haven't went. I haven't gone back and bought any of the other ones. I like the way it looks. Okay, last side. I'm just going in a swirly motion, you can see. And against the paper, I'm kind of holding it up a little bit, like at a diagonal. That's how I'm doing this. Just in case you guys have never used this one. Okay, that looks pretty good. Then I'm going to add my sentiment here along the bottom, maybe um, in the center, going from side to side. And I've got a darker ink for that. I'm just going to use my Memento Tuxedo Black. I'm actually going to lay my card out flat again so it doesn't try to wiggle on me. I can hear our heaters coming on. Let's see, there's my sentiment. Okay, and I'll put it right there. Notice there's a little spot I missed. Okay. It just says sending smiles across the miles. I just think that's so cute. It's one of my favorite sentiments in this set. Oh, of course, you know, it's a sunshine Emma stamp set, so all the stamps are bright and cheery sentiments. And I'm going to add this ribbon. This is just, um, is just some orange chevron. I'm going to get this out of the way because I think the clouds are actually still a little bit inky. I don't want to get my hands all inked up. Okay, you can see it got on the back of my card when I folded it over a little bit. That's okay. It still looks great. I'm just going to tie a bow on this and we will call it done. I just love when you can make a card just a one sheet card. 
get this tied. Oops, it's folding over a little bit. Okay, there. I've had many people ask on some of my other videos how I tie my bows, and I have a step-by-step -step bow tutorial for you guys. Um, I'll link it below so you guys can see it. So I get asked, that's probably the thing I get asked most often. So how do you tie your bows? Because it, it is kind of difficult sometimes. Okay, I gotta just get some scissors and I'll be done with this one. I never have scissors over here. I don't think it matters how many pairs of scissors you have. You always lose them. At least I do. Next side. Okay. Got a big pretty bow. And it's done. That's just a quick and easy cloud background. I'm going to scoot this up so you can see those other clouds up there. And that one's done. Oh, there you have it. Thanks for watching. Bye.